dear students good morning to everybody what done some results <coughs> we know this x plus i y is a complex number r into cos theta plus i sin theta is a polar form and uh, if you write this polar, uh, if we can convert this polar form into exponential form this is also a result x plus i y is equal to r e to the power of i theta is the exponential form of a complex number if you are given two complex numbers z1 is equal to r1 plus cos theta 1 plus i, I sin theta 1 and i sin theta 1 z2 is equal to r2 plus cos theta 2 plus i sin theta 2 then their multipl uh, multiplication their product is r1 r2 cos of theta 1 plus theta 2 cos of theta 1 plus theta 2 plus i sin of theta 1 plus theta 2 similarly their division z1 by z2 is equals to r1 by r2 cos r1 r1 into cos theta 1 plus i sin theta 1 divided by r2 into cos theta 2 i sin theta 2 there this term z2 should not be equals to 0 similarly r2 should not be equals to 0 then z1 z1 by z2 is equals to r1 by r2 cos theta 1 minus theta 2 i sin theta 1 minus theta 2 cos theta plus i sin theta can also be written as shortly cis theta c means cos i means this uh, iota s means sin theta shortly cis theta if it is uh, minus in middle cos theta minus i sin theta is equals to cis minus cis of minus theta cis of minus theta sixth one cos theta plus i sin theta whole to the power of minus n is equals to 1 by cos theta plus i sin theta whole to the power of n that is 1 divided by uh, using d Morris theorem cos n theta plus i sin n theta 1 divided by cos n theta plus i sin n theta <coughs> here division of uh, this complex number here it is r will have some value here r may be 1 r may be 1 in that case cos theta 1 plus i sin theta 1 divided by cos theta plus i sin theta cos cos theta uh, cos theta 2 plus i sin theta 2 is equal to cos of theta 1 minus theta 2 plus i sin of theta 1 minus theta 2 Similarly, multiplication of cos theta 1 plus i sin theta 1 into bracket. This is in bracket. Cos theta 2 plus i sin theta 2. I sin theta 2 is equals to cos of theta 1 plus theta 2. I sin of theta 1 plus theta 2. <coughs> Next, in trigonometric, 90 minus theta is first quadrant, there trigonometric ratio sign changes to cos without sign is, in is changing sign plus sin theta plus cos theta only. Cos of 90 minus theta is equal to again sin theta sin sin ratio changes to cos ratio changes to sin ratio in 90 angle 90 minus theta that comes in first quadrant here yeah, 90 degree can be written as pi by 2 in radians these are some results you can remember
ப்ளீஸ் காசு சைன் ஆஃப் த்ரீ ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் சிக்ஸ்டி டிகிரி ப்ளஸ் டீட்டா ஹியர் இன் ஃபோர்த் குவாடரண்ட் த்ரீ சிக்ஸ்டி ப்ளஸ் டீட்டா இஸ் இன் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் குவாடரண்ட் Here, in first quadrant, 90 minus theta and 360 plus theta. <coughs> sin of 9, 360 plus theta, sin will not change any ratio. Same, that is sin theta only result. But in case of 90 and in angle 90 and 270 changes. cos of 360 degree plus theta is equal to cos theta. Sign of 90 as here it is 90 minus theta is cos theta. Ninety plus ninety degree. This theta is also cos theta. In first quadrant, all trigonometric ratios are positive. In second quadrant, sin theta and uh, its reciprocal cosecant theta is positive. In third quadrant, tan theta and its reciprocal cot theta is positive. In fourth quadrant, cos theta and its reciprocal secant theta is positive. 90 plus theta is, comes in the second quadrant. Here, sin and uh, sign sign is positive that means the result we get is cos theta okay. positive cos of 90 degree plus theta this also changes sign uh, trigonometric ratio sin theta 90 plus theta is in second quadrant there sin and cosecant its reciprocal are positive other angles are negative So these are some results which may come across while solving problems. Okay. Simplify. Cos of 3 pi by 4. 5. 3 pi by 5 i sin of 3 pi by 5 what are the power of 
So it is in the form of a cos theta plus psi sin theta over to the power of n. Cos theta plus psi sin theta over to the power of n. It is cos n theta plus psi sin n theta. So use these results. So our problem becomes cos of here n means n means this phi phi into 3 pi by 5 plus psi sin phi into 3 pi by 5 phi phi get cancels If I get cancels, we get cos of 3 pi plus i sin of 3 pi. Cos of 3 pi plus i sin of 3 pi. If I get after getting cancelled, we get cos of 3 pi plus i sin of 3 pi. Now, cos 3 pi, 3 pi can be written as cos of 2 pi plus pi plus i sin of 2 pi plus pi cos of 2 pi means 360 degree Just now show, seen one result that is sine of 360 degree plus theta is equals to sine theta and cos of 360 degree plus theta is equals to cos theta. Here 360, this is 2 pi. Here this is 2 pi. 2 pi, 360 plus pi. Pi means angle is <coughs> with separated two angles that is 2 pi and pi. So this becomes cos pi plus i sin pi i sin pi cos of pi is minus 1 i sin sin pi is 0 so we get minus 5 simplify cos of pi by 8 i sin of pi by 8 what is the power of 16 According to D. Morris theorem, this 16 is multiplied to this pi by 8. Cos of 16 into pi by 8 plus i sin of 16 into pi by 8. So, 8 1s are 8 2s are. 8 1s are 8 2s are. 8 1s are 8 2s are. 
So this is cos 2 pi plus i sin 2 pi. I say plus one plus one plus one plus high sign i into 0, this is 1. Cos of 3 pi by 7 plus i sin of 3 pi by 7. What is the power of 7 by 6? So this is according to De Moore's theorem. According to De Moore's theorem. 7 by 6 into 3 pi by 7 plus i sin of 7 by 6 to 3 pi by 7. So 7, 7 get cancels. 3, 1s are 3, 2s are. 7, 7, 3, 1s are 3, 2s are. So this is cos of pi by 2 plus i sin of pi by 2. So this is cos 90, pi by 2 means 90 degree, it is 0. Plus i sin of cos sin 90 is 1. So this is i. Cos 90 is 0. Sin 90 degree. So like this we can simplify. So let us stop and continue next class.